It's a bat. I really want it. Oh my gosh, do I need this? It's so cute. I mean, and for Halloween as well. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Today I wanted to show you things that I've hearted on Bestiaire Collective. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, and honestly, they're kind of dodgy, so... Buying on Bestiaire, guys, is a total gamble, but you know, the thrill of the chase, guys, buying secondhand is really a gamble, full stop, from any secondhand store. Honestly, you have to do your checks, you should authenticate your bags, and try and get some knowledge about handbags as well. Uh, for me, I think buying pre-loved has helped me learn a lot about handbags, and it helps me get a feel for different leathers and sizes, and I've been really enjoying finding gems and you know it's a little bit of a game so these are things that I've hearted on bestiaire and I thought I'd share them with you guys just in case you might want to buy them yourself or yeah I mean buy at your own risk okay so here we have a trim bag now a lot of you guys have been asking me to show you deals on trim bags I do have a trim bag in the 35 size which I keep on bragging about but I'm just loving it guys like I've been wearing it quite a lot and it's just such a comfy scoopy bag to wear it's like not like the cutest bag but it's a very practical cool girl bag and here we've got another trim bag um it's in blue it's the 31 size so it's a little bit smaller than this one and it's $1,875 um and you are able to make an offer so I would go and uh, make an offer on that guys if you like there's actually not many pictures so I would actually message the add a comment on the bottom and ask for more pictures before you bid on that because honestly could be dodgy but just thought I'd mentioned that one. Um, I've also found another trim bag in vibrato which is more of a limited edition finish um, and it's actually the way that they create this um, vibrato finish. I thought it was like fabric but um, one of you guys told me that it's actually stacked leather and they it's actually like suede or something that they've stacked together to create this effect so it's a bit of a limited edition cool piece kind of very boho I feel in this finish um and it's again $1,800 not too bad you know for a luxury bag in this day and age it's pretty decent and yeah I mean it looks pretty awesome to be honest uh this is in the 35 size so same size as this and yeah I think that's a pretty unique I mean it's not everybody's cup of tea definitely not but it you just look cool wearing it I feel like if I saw someone wearing that I'd be like oh my gosh she knows her bags like vibrato cool so yeah next bag okay I'm gonna be honest like I just feel like this is a really good deal but I'm not too fond of the color like I like red but something about this big slouchy sack I don't know here we've got a Belide 35 um it's in the 1923 version uh with, without the circle but I mean the deal is really good this is on rebag it's 3400 the inside is fabric which is actually kind of interesting Hmm. I don't know what do you reckon of this bag I just kind of hearted it because I thought it was a really good deal but I don't know if I love it like you know sometimes you think things are a good deal but then you're like but do I actually like it like I'm not sure maybe I would just rather wait for something in like a different color like sometimes you'd rather pay a little bit more for a better color but I don't know I do like red so maybe that would be cool like in real life oh my gosh I am obsessed with this vintage bag guys this is like a little tassel clutch thing it's pretty expensive for a vintage bag I mean mm, I mean I have paid a lot for vintage bags like my Kelly for example but uh this is a very random style but I just thought it was really sweet it has like a little tassel thing on it um I love the color it looks like rouge h um yeah it's kind of expensive but it also seems rare so maybe it's like one of those like really rare gems like I don't know maybe it's going to be worth a lot in the future so I hearted that because I thought it was pretty cool next bag okay oh let's get on to more trim bags this one is a little bit more expensive this is like similar to the one I have but red $2,100 Again, it's on rebag, so not too bad a price. Okay, here we have more of a decent deal. This one looks like it's in the color curry, I feel. It could be curry. Um, so it's like a yellowy kind of tan color. Mm, okay, it's saying very good condition. It's okay, the color is natural sand, um, 35, uh, 1,600. And you can make an offer. I feel like this is actually a pretty good deal, to be honest, for a trim. Um, and the color is pretty neutral, so... I don't know, what do you guys reckon of that one? That one's not too bad. Oh, I found another one on Rebag. Okay, we're getting up there with the um 
the prices but this one has gold hardware and it's red i quite like the gold hardware actually uh this one is 2700 so a little bit more um it's in very good condition and it looks like it's togo leather there oh what do you guys think of this bag this is called i mean i'm pretty sure this is a vespa bag but for some reason they called it bull de golf but i don't think i think it's a vespa but this color reminds me of like vert croquet or vert cricket i don't know how to say it but it could be actually vert anis it probably is um but i just liked the color and the gold hardware and it's not too bad a price 2200 yeah it's a vespa gm uh from 2000 clement's leather um i just thought I, I don't know i just thought it was a really cute bag for some reason like i would totally wear this what do you guys think i think it's really pretty you can get the vespa bag for really good deals as well oh i really like this um a-line bag i actually have one of these that I bought secondhand as well. Uh, mine's in Berenia leather, but I found a Rosakura one for $1,800, which is a pretty good deal. Um, and it's in Swift leather. So, I mean, that could be a nice little, like, daily errands bag, right? Oh, I actually found a Pliplac clutch, but it's kind of expensive. It's $2,500. Um, it's in the color. It looks like Anemone to me. Um, so I have a Pliplac clutch, which I bought for like a thousand something. So it's, yeah, a little bit more than what I paid. And it's a real bummer because the other week I saw a similar one. I was stalking it that actually sold for 1,600. And I don't know if it's the same one and they've relisted it for higher, but it was literally the same purple color. So you just got to keep stalking the website, guys. Sometimes these come up for really good deals, but there's one here. It's still a decent price, to be honest, for a clutch, but... Sometimes they come out up for, like, really, really good deals. So, there's that. Oh, I really like this piano bag. This is another, like, common vintage bag you can find on the secondhand market. Very structured, box calf, 2,500. Um, definitely has a bit of a vintage look to it. Okay, I was just obsessed with this colour scheme. This is, like, a pink and purple uh, special order Birkin. $22,000. I mean, I don't know if I would want, like, a pink... 35 size Birkin it's a bit like in your face I would have preferred it if it was a 30 probably or even better a 25 but yeah it's $22,000 mm. I do like the color combination though so I just saved it because I thought it's pretty epic I mean that is really loud what do you guys think of this Birkin oh I really love this little petite H charm <laughs> it's $400 but it's a bat I really want it oh my gosh do I need this it's so cute I mean and for Halloween as well Oh, so adorable. Okay, so I've saved a few more trim bags here. I found one vintage one. Oh, okay, it's unavailable at the moment. I'm not sure why. But that one was only a $1,000. And then I also found another vintage one. But this one... Ooh, this one actually looks quite interesting. It's like a chocolatey brown colour. And let's just see this. Oh, this is the 32, so I'm going to guess it's the 31 size. But it's actually the one without the gusset. So this one has a gusset, and this one here is a little bit more of a streamlined style. So I'm going to guess it's vintage. Um, oh, I've also got another bleed here. This one is really expensive. It's $6,000, but I just like the apple color scheme, so I thought I'd show you guys. Um, I think it's too expensive, but... I mean, pretty cool combo, right? Like, some vintage colours are really awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this bag, Paris Bombay. This is a really good deal for this bag. It's $2,200. Um, I really wanted to buy one of these in white, but it, the universe kept blocking me, so I couldn't buy it. But I found one in, like, a chocolate brown colour. That's a really good deal. I was kind of tempted to buy it, but I stopped myself because, I don't know, I just feel like this... This bag is, like, cursed for me, so I can't buy it. How interesting is this bag, guys? I just love the colour. It's, like, a sapphire blue. Hmm, they, they're calling it a Constance, but it's not. It's some vintage style. Um, It's not in the best shape. It's $2,000. It looks like it was a staff sale bag as well, because it says S on it. So, that's interesting. I wonder what year it's from. I'll have to do some more investigation. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll link below all the things I'm talking about as well, just in case you want to buy them or you're more curious. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this is, but I was just obsessed when I saw it. It's some, like, little apple clutch, but it's $4,000, so, um, no thanks, but... Oh, it's also on Rebag. 
I like that. Oh, I love the plume bag. This is so adorable, but suede is a little bit of a nightmare. Um, this is orange suede, but I mean, it looks really cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, it looks amazing. Okay, it's really expensive though. And oh, I love this petite H as well, guys. It's a little origami horse. Not too bad a price. Oh, and I really want to buy this Twilly. It's in Australia, but I'm also blocking myself from not from buying that. Oh, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. It is it is the drag bag, but this is the vintage version, and I just love the combination of the blue with the gold hardware, but it is too expensive. It's $5,000. I found another drag bag for $2,000, but I think this one is larger than the other one, and I'm just watching that, guys. I'm just, I'm actually, I got my eye on that one. That one's actually really nice. Oh, a Kelly Ado. Oh, I really want a Kelly backpack, but this one, I don't know, it looks a little worse for wear, but... And the price is still a bit expensive, 5800 I mean, the Kelly Ado in good condition is like over 10 k but this, uh, I don't know, it looks a bit crusty, so not sure about it. Oh, guys, I also want to show you this trim bag. This is a bit more of a funky one. It reminds me of Gucci, actually, with the stripes. Um, it's not my favorite, but it looks a bit more like rare and collectible. Um, it's 2500 so... In case you love that, I think that's a very unique um, Hermes bag you could go for. I also found this really cute like micro bag from Hermes in like purple. It's $2,390, but it looks like it only fits like playing cards or something. So anyways, guys, I'll stop blabbing on because I could go on forever, but let me know. Um, is there anything that I talk talked about which you guys like? Would you like me to do more of these styles of videos? Because I also have like so many things I hearted on my eBay. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching my blabbing video as usual. And I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!